the management and the staff of the Uganda Airlines. When you are mingling millet, you must wait for the right temperature of the water. If you put in too early, the millet will be spoiled. If it is too late, the millet will be spoiled. So that is the science of management. The Uganda, the old Uganda airline died. And in African culture, when people die, they are buried. There's no alternative. So when you're going to say, Abafu Bazikwa, you cannot keep dead bodies in the house however much you like them. My father died and I had to bury him. My mother died and I had to bury her. So the old Uganda airline, airline was buried because it died. But when old people die, new ones are born. So this is the new baby. I was among the undertakers, the, the funeral services. I was among the undertakers who buried the old airline. They said, ah, ah. Um, to food, um, 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 But here I am, I am now among the midwives delivering the new baby. Why do I think this new baby will, will not die? But there are three constituencies that will support this deity. Constituency number one, maybe there are four constituencies. Constituency number one are the Ugandan diaspora. You know, sometimes bad things create good things. During Yamini's time, very many Ugandans ran away because of security. And they were mainly educated people. They were not uh, villagers who were running away. When they got where they went, they established themselves. They got jobs, they have families, but they always want to come back. I think the marketing division of the Uganda Airlines should establish exactly how big is the Uganda diaspora, because I always get different figures. They just depend on the North American Association of Ugandans. But what I hear, not all members, not all the diaspora are members of that association. There are some who are not members. They don't hear me well. You want me to go to the other one? So that diaspora in North America in Canada, in Southern Africa, in the UK. It's a big one. How big is it? I don't know. Find out. Exactly. These are all discoveries. 
Tumati tuari yao That's how Africans speak Tumati tuari yao When we are still there things I mean expels our Indians So that is the second Subcategory of the diaspora The Ugandan Indians who were expelled and went to UK. They own a whole city there called something, I've forgotten the name. One of the cities in UK is, is controlled by them. They went to Canada. So this is the second constituency. The Ugandan Indians. The third constituency are the business people of Uganda. The stayees of Asigarawano. Abonabo, Omuso Gako, and Tibet, they know, they know, Oputambula. Those also like to, to travel so much. The business people. Although these days I am undermining their, their trading because I'm making the things here locally. So I am sort of disrupting their, their kusaka. Because basaka nyo. But now I am all, we are also making things here. They are basaka. But they are still there. They go to Dubai, to China. I don't know where else they go, maybe in Nairobi, I don't know. So the, the marketing division should tell us exactly how that third constituency is moving. Where do they go most? The Ugandan business people. The fourth constituency are the tourists. You can imagine that tourists to Uganda, the number has been increasing in spite of the inconvenience of having to stop in Dubai, stop in Addis Ababa, stop in Nairobi, stop in Chigari, but they still come. That means they love Uganda in spite of all the inconveniences. What will now happen if a tourist, a tourist can fly direct from London to Entebbe? From, from Guangzhou in China to Entebbe? Because the Airbus will go direct to China. From Amsterdam to, to Entebbe, from uh, of course Dubai. I think Dubai would be handled by this one here. D Dubai is like the part of the region. The, the Addis Ababa, all those will be handled by this one. But the international will handle the other ones. Now, when I looked at the figures, I found that Ugandans were spending $400 million a year in travel. That's what I was told. $400 million is a lot of money. We are talking of Uganda becoming a middle-income country. Actually, Uganda is already a medium-income country. But because we are using the method of foreign exchange, it 
it is not yet by the method of what we call PPP, power purchase parity method. Uganda is already a middle income country. Because it is, about, it is about, some people say, $73 billion. Some say $90 billion. The figures are not all that. But whichever figure you use, that would make Uganda a middle income country. Because per capita, of population of 41 million, even if you use the lower figure, the per capita will be $1,700, which is much above the minimum for middle-income countries. But we don't use this PPP method. We use the exchange, foreign exchange method. And because we are still importing too much, that's why Using the other method, the foreign exchange method, we are still short of the middle income threshold. Now, by starting an airline, we are going to reduce on the foreign exchange expenditure. Uganda will be spending money, but spending it in our airline. By building a super specialization hospital, like the one we are talking, we, we, we are going to build in Uboa, Ugandans will, will be sick, they will die, and pay for dying, because when you go to hospital, you pay, you still die. They will pay for sickness, they will pay for dying, but they will be paying Ugandan facilities. They will not be exporting the money. Plus, all the other measures we are taking to reduce imports, the, we are going to become a middle income country more easily because of, the, of the, even by the foreign exchange method. Nevertheless, even when we use the foreign exchange method, the economy of Uganda is growing by more than 6%. So, either way, Uganda is moving forward and is unstoppable. However, on the airline business, me, I'm still dreaming of the East African Airways. We got the chairman of the board here, Dasatra, was talking of the cutthroat competition. Why do you compete? Why don't we work these airlines? Why don't they? amalgamate their operations and have one consolidated airline. Me, I'm still an East African. Nobody will remove me from that, that idea. Even when they are going to bury me, I will say, please, put East Africa there. So, Uganda now, actually, one, one reason why I did not start the airline for a long time, I thought we could share airline. That was actually one of the reasons. It was ideological. But then I had problems, then you, that when you go to the market, And you are a Mnyankole. You pay 500 shillings for a, for a bunch of bananas. 
And when the Uganda comes, you pay 1,000. What sort of business is that? The same banana we are buying here. And Kotei Toke. He said, oh, Uza, you said to me 500, you said another one, 1,000. That's not true. So that's why I said, oh, why? Let's have our own airline also. <laughs> Otherwise, I think we should not forget that idea of a consolidated regional airline. You heard what the visitor here said, the vice president of Bombardier. He referred to your country, Uganda, as fabulous. In English, he didn't see, say it in any other language, which you don't understand. I heard him. Unfortunately, the Ugandans are determined to destroy the fabulousness of Uganda. They invade the forests, they destroy the wetlands. After I want to write uh, an article and appeal to, you have seen this, this season, the rain has not been so good. But that is, in the Bible, whatever man sows, that's what he reaps. So please, Ugandans, everybody in the world cries for the beauty of Uganda. But some of the Ugandans want to destroy that beauty by destroying the environment. The forests, the wetlands, the mountains. Please, I want to all of us to cooperate and speak with one language. Please, the wetlands are for water, not for Mayuni, Rumonde, all those, they have their place. It's a good way, Joe. The engineer Kawesi wants to grab one of my facilities for his own operation. Uh -huh. The alternative airports are there. There's Gulu. There is Soroti, we can expand it. There is Hoima. This is a big one at Hoima now. You had what? Uh, when Obazuba was talking of Barua, I want to be, make that one also. Kasese, Kabare, Ah, Eliana Ramujireke. Two final points. I want to thank the team, the ministry people. the board members, the group of engineer agenda, the young pilots, all of them really helped us 
sort out all sorts of confusion. So there was a big debate. Do we buy new planes? Or do we, of course, the cabinet also had committed. And everything came to cabinet in the end. And there were big debates. Do we buy new planes? Or do we rent? Rent to the lease. There is wet leasing, there is a dry, way, dry leasing, there is some other leasing, I don't know which one. There are different kinds of leasing. Okay, we can be Uganda. So we would go into all those. But this group including a Ugandan who got lost in Zambia. There's a, there's a Ugandan who got lost in Zambia. But yeah, they bring that uh, Ugandan who got lost in Zambia here, so you can see him. This is what they are there. What is the tribe of this man? Who stand, stand there and they see you, stand there. What do you think is the tribe of this man? Is he a Mubisu or what? What was that? Huh? The, 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 the other one has said that you are a Musoga. But this man is from Zambia. And in here, what do you Come here. That one is from. Uh, one of the local areas there, they really helped us to sort out. They were four. And I thank them. Now, finally, I want to thank, to thank Canada. Canada is trying to break the monopoly of manufacturing aircraft. Because now the big manufacturers are United States, then uh, Europe, Germany. Of course, Russia have their own, their own planes. But Canada, being a Commonwealth country, I want to encourage you. We are related through the Commonwealth. They are our relatives. So I want to encourage you, by buying your planes, I'm also encouraging you. Continue making planes so that you have got a, a diverse source of planes, not just one source or two sources. Therefore, with these few words, it is my pleasure to Kutongoza, Uganda Airlines, and wish you no, I need to thank the parliament. Kukuno. But parliament has been doing well these days. Parliament is very well. came to this one, they really supported us. They supported us. And I want to tell you, we paid cash for these aircraft. There are, there are people who like to borrow. I don't want to mention them. What I want to say, I want to say, 
Az úsok akkor van, hogy Brenda Inna Mabanda. Now, they were running around. We should borrow from I don't know what, which group. I said, but what do you have to borrow? We can pay for this plane. This is an important operation. It's not these other things which you can borrow for. Where we are now, we need our, our own airline. And we shall pay for it cash, all of them. So we paid for them. We have paid for this complete, this one. Each one is $28 million. Paid cash. This man has got a receipt, this is who here. The other one, 28, oh, 28 million. The other ones which are still there, we have already paid the pre-delivery installment. And even the Airbus, we have paid the required installment so that, so that they start manufacturing. And we shall pay all of them cash, all of them. Therefore, what I appeal to the Ugandans is that you, where you are now, you have the money. The only thing you need is to be disciplined and say, when there's something important, and then I can be the case, they say, I can take it, you know, if you do that, there is nothing we cannot do. The only thing is that we want to spend so much in travel, what? Of Tambloko. Did you hear this, those people? Huh? <laughs> so therefore, with the prioritization, really there is nothing we cannot do. It's just a question of prioritizing, postponing some of the expenditures so that we do what is, what is absolutely necessary we shall be able to fulfill all our programs. It is my honor to launch the revival of the Uganda Airlines. Thank you. I wish you good. to request you to allow me to uh, ask Crane uh, performers for just a few minutes and we close the, meet, the meeting, the, the function. Crane performers. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes, telefaina. E, yafe, e, dachika, tezicha, zigena kwele sawa mukaba.